Okay, guys, welcome. My name is John Early. I am the host of Content Worth Creating, brand new channel I just came up with to try and help people that are working on creating virtual reality, photography, all that kind of stuff. Um, I see a lot of people struggling out there, and you know, I'm just trying to pass along some of my knowledge to make it easier for people. So today we're gonna to start with something I see all the time, which is um, for Mac people. Uh, and that is, you got your Rico Theta Z1 and you got some images on there and you've shot them and you've, you've done whatever you need to do with them and you wanna get them off your camera now. And you use the DFE plugin and you can't seem to figure out how to get these things off your camera. So let's take a look, see, and first look at what you're probably going through here. So we're going to look at our applications. We're going to go to the Rico Theta transfer for Mac. And we're going to wait for the camera to pop up here. And uh, we see it here. Okay. And we're like, okay, we've got all these files. We downloaded them. Everything looks fantastic. Client's happy. It's time to delete these and get ready for the next job. Okay. So how do we do that? So if you try to delete these things or select them or right click them, you can't do anything. You try and select a file, you can't do anything. You try to delete it, you can't do anything. Command delete doesn't do a thing. You're like, what am I supposed to do here? So um, I'll show you what you're supposed to do. So, I mean, this is not a great solution, obviously, uh, on Rico's part, but the, uh, maybe they're working on it. So anyway, we're gonna go into here to this application here called Image Capture. You've probably never used it before unless you have a Rico Theta Z1. And boom, there's our images. Okay, so they just pop up, right? Now, if you remember, I should have showed you this before or dwelled on it a little bit longer here. If we go back to this Rego Theta transfer for Mac here, um, and we look at the structure here, we've got Rico. This is where it would you'd put the files up here. This is where the camera would put them if you shot them using the Rico uh, app itself. But we shot them using the, the DFE app on the on our Android device, so. It's got these two folders, the long numbers. Those are brackets right there. See the brackets? There's a three frame bracket in there. Okay. Why are there six files? Because there's three DNGs and three JPEGs. Okay. All right. So, and then we got the DFE files that we've shot, the DFE HDR9s, uh, I'm sorry, threes brackets, and they're right here. All right. So now when we look over here, got to click on the camera. Oh, well, that's not good. Maybe you can't have two devices at once. Let's try this again here. Well, learn something new every day here. All right, so let's go to, um, let's re relaunch this sucker. Okay, there we go. All right. Now we've got our files. Now you see they're all kind of, they're not in this folder structure they had before, but uh, let's sh let me show you what we can do with these guys. Let's take one of them. And just let's right click on it. Oh, look, we can delete it. Wonderful. Goodbye. Okay, gone. Let's take them all. So let's take all of them. And you could either go up here to delete or just easier to right click and delete them all. It's going to confirm. No problem. Let's get rid of them. Okay, so we're th everything's looking good, right? Well, maybe. So let's quit out of here and let's go back into Rico Theta Transfer for Mac. Like the next time you do a job. And, oh, what are these things? These are the empty folders from the last time, and we have no way to get rid of them now. So I have searched far and wide for this, guys. On a Mac, I don't have an easy solution for you. Um, I even tried messing around with Terminal, making some changes, and hidden, hidden uh, excuse me, hidden directories and that kind of thing, and still no easy way to do it. So I'm telling you, the fastest way to do this, if you have a PC, go hook up your camera to the PC, go to the Finder, it, they'll pop up right there. You'll see the folder DFE just or dual fisheye. Just delete that whole folder. You'll be back in business. Next time you use the DFE plugin, it's going to make a new folder. You're going to be fine. Okay. So uh, I don't have a screen capture hooked up to my PC, but I will be back in uh, just a second, <laughs> so to speak, and I'll show you um, how easy it is to get rid of those things. All right, guys, I'm back. And if you were watching the system clock up here, you'll see that very little time went by. So anyway, I just went up to my PC and my um, 
spare bedroom and remove those files. It's super easy. You just open it up. You see the finder. It says DCIM, common for digital cameras. Double click that folder. You'll see two folders inside. One's the Rico folder and one is the D dual fisheye plugin. Just delete that whole folder and you'll be done. So I'll show you here. We're going to go to Rico Theta Transfer for Mac and we got the same Z1 hooked up and now you see it's only got that DCM folder and only the Rico folder. Now I could have deleted those two. I just left them. Now if you're super OCD, you can delete those two. If you're not OCD, don't worry about these empty folders that get left around. It's not going to cause any big waste of space, but I understand if you shoot a lot, you're going to end up with a lot of them and they will eventually take up space. So that is the best way to get rid of them. If you're on a Mac now, you know, borrow a PC or do parallels, run some parallels on your, on your Mac. Uh, you're going to need to get into a PC operating system, unfortunately, until there's a better solution for getting rid of all those uh, folders off of the Mac. But in the meantime, Use the image capture app on the Mac and you can get rid of all the folders, which will get rid of most of the uh, space that those files are taking up. You'll be fine. Um, got a new channel here. So if you like this video, if it helped you out, please give me a like. Please subscribe. I've got a lot of new stuff coming up. Um, i got some projects now in the works. But um, once those settle down and the clients get happy, I'm going to be making some videos and sharing some uh, techniques with you guys. I just did a... A recent, video, a recent tour that has some video hotspots that a lot of people are really interested in how I did that. So I will be working on some tutorials for that. So please subscribe and stay tuned. And um, I'll come at you with more stuff and try to help you guys out. Thank you for watching.